Hey everyone, so tonight's gonna be a big video because I'm gonna be walking you through everything you need to know about shooting an interview on a budget. So the first thing we should talk about is sound because that's the most important part of the production. And I say it's the most important part of the production because let's say you lose all your footage of video, but you still have the audio from the interview. You still have clean audio of a great interview and you could release that as a sound only podcast. But if you lose all the audio for whatever you shot, you can't really do much with the visual. So it's important that you set yourself up to succeed regarding the sound. So in my experience, the best way to get full and rich sounding audio is to use a shotgun microphone. This is a directional microphone that wherever you point it, it's gonna mostly pick up what's in that direction as opposed to like an omnidirectional microphone. And what you would do is put it on any sort of stand and put it as close to the subject's mouth as possible. But there are a couple of reasons I wouldn't recommend using the shotgun microphone as your primary microphone. First of all, in order to get good audio from it, you have to get it pretty close to the subject's mouth within a few inches. My shotgun microphone that I'm speaking into right now is just barely out of frame, just above my uh, poofy hair. And by the way, these things can go for a couple hundred dollars. I would recommend not spending too much on one. I know it's an important piece of gear, but what adds price to a lot of them is that um, is the brand name and also a lot of the features they have, but you can get really good sounding mics uh, for less than $100. The one I'm speaking into now, if you like the sound of this audio, is only $40. It's like the Tackstar SC598 or something. I'll include a link in the description. But anyway, the downside of these is you have to get them pretty close to the subject's mouth to get really good audio. And unless you're shooting a super tight frame on the subject, um, it's very hard to not get the microphone in frame. And to shoot a professional looking interview, uh, that's not gonna be ideal. Now, of course, if you're doing something more casual, like a podcast, for example, where most of the time you see their microphone, then that's not really a problem. But there's one other problem with the shotgun microphone where on podcasts, people know what they're getting into. They know they're coming in and speaking into a microphone. But when you're interviewing someone who might have never done an interview before, they don't know usually as much about microphones as you, so they don't know where to position their mouth and what direction to speak in. And they might be moving all over, similar to the focus thing. They're not thinking in a tech-minded way. So if you have the shotgun microphone in a fixed position, the audio throughout the interview is gonna be inconsistent. So what I would recommend doing is putting the shotgun microphone on a stand, putting it just out of frame and using it as a backup mic. And then for your main microphone, you should use a lav microphone, a tiny microphone that you could either clip to the outside of their shirt or if they're wearing like a button down or something, you could put it on the inside or tape it so that it's not visible. Now, lav mics, uh, mainly the affordable ones, they're not gonna get you perfect audio. You may hear some background noise that you need to fix in post, but it's gonna be good enough that with a few minor adjustments in audio editing, it'll be totally passable and people won't question it. The particular lav mics that I recommend are the Rode Wireless Go 2s. There are other brands that have mics that serve the same function, but these are just the ones that I've used. And the reason I recommend them is because they only use one receiver that connects to two microphones. See, most lav mics that I know about basically have a receiver connected to one microphone. So if you were in a situation where you wanted to connect lav mics to yourself and the subject, or maybe two subjects, what you generally have to do is put a receiver into your camera or audio recorder, connect that microphone, and then put another receiver into another audio recorder that you'd have to buy, and then connect that microphone separately. So like I said, what the Rode Wireless Go 2s allow you to do is only have to put the receiver into one recording device and then you can connect it to two microphones wirelessly on two different subjects. In terms of what recording device you use, um, you should test out before the interview what works best for you. There are some cameras that you can get really good audio in when sending the signal into, but other ones create really tinny and non-professional sounding um, sound. So in that case, you should invest in like a $100 H1 recorder. I'll include the link for that as well. 